After Surfer Clock was safely rescued by Tower Girl's twin sister, Captain Veronica Kirk, the Enterprise went after them. But before Surfer Clock was able to successfully rescue his comrade, Reese bumped the ships, resulting in both him and Tap G to become hostages of the rogue aliens. To make matters worse, the Enterprise's navigator, one RX-24, has snapped and gone total Hell 9000 on the crew. So, status report. RX-24 has shut down all manual control, Captain. All ship functions have been rerouted through him. So, we're dead in the water? It's worse than that, ma'am. <clears throat> RX-24 has also shut down our oxygen generator. At our current rate of respiration, we'll be dead in 47 minutes. Can we shut down RX-24? No, ma'am. He's made from highly durable materials and features no powering down function. So, in a nutshell, you guys are pretty much dead. Uh, no disrespect, I, I just don't need oxygen. Reese, are you able to assist us? Funny you should mention that. I have a buddy who can help us out. Where is he? On Earth. Because he's part of a ride system, I can conjure him up. You might want to step back. <clears throat> Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, mantengan se alejado de las puertas. With those magic words, the Enterprise's bridge became much more crowded thanks to a ten-foot-tall Yeti with an afro. And no, you can't make this stuff up. Disco Yeti! How you been, buddy? What do you want, Reese? See that robot over there? He just told me Disco was dead and I should let it go. Thoughts, amigo? Oh, he did, did he? The whole ship rocked to the Yeti's massive weight. He slowly closed in on Rex, who clearly did not anticipate this turn of events. Dear private base life form present, species unknown. You said Disco was dead. My records do not indicate that at any time did I state so much. With a flick of his wrists, the Disco Yeti crushed and compacted the robot into a ball. With one of his loose wires, he fixed the ball to the ceiling and struck it up. He angled the ceiling lights at the ball and gave the ball a quick spin. Do you still think Disco's dead, Scrappy? Captain, all systems are back online. We have control again. Let's make up for lost time. Follow the trail and maintain all scanners at maximum levels. And soon, the Enterprise engaged in warp drive to pursue the hostiles and hostages. But 100 light years away, the aliens disengaged warp drive and continued to fly out. Inside the ship's holding cell? We were going to hold you in the interrogation room until we reached Mr. 626's residence. But seeing as how you were planning on breaking out, we thought the holding cell would be more appropriate. Just who... Are you guys? Oh, oh, allow me. Surfer Clock, this is... I'm sorry, we've never been properly introduced. Cassowary Gary, this is my partner, Wolfgang Amadeus. So, great! Now we're on a first-name basis. I think we've moved up to professional relationship now. Is he this innately Charlie off the set, too? You don't know the half of it. Oh, I am so putting that as my status update on Facebook when we get back to Earth. I wouldn't count on returning to Earth anytime soon, Tab G. Not after Mr. 626 is done with you two. <laughs> <laughs> is this what we get for being vocal about what makes a bad ride? Well, if it makes you feel any better, I found out that the letter we got was from a society that doesn't exist. Okay. It doesn't? But if I had to guess, I guess it was drafted by Bert and Ernie here. <sighs> The only drawback to free speech in America is it enables people to tell you to shut up when they don't agree with you. Or abduct us. Eh, I think that one's outside U.S. jurisdiction. What should we do, man? Just wait until Captain Kirk comes to our rescue. I'm sorry, what? It wasn't too much later when the Enterprise disengaged from warp drive. Again, the cloaking shield was raised to try not to arouse suspicions of the aliens. Asil, Reese, my current plan is simply another attempt at the earlier one. Simply transport in, locate the boys, and I'll contact you when we're ready to beam out. Uh, Captain, need I remind you that our probability of success at this point has significantly been reduced now that the hostiles are more acutely suspicious? I am indeed, which is why I won't waste time. In and out. Now let's get this show on the road. Please be careful. Uh, with Tap G and Surfer Clock? Your concern for the welfare is touching, Reese. Concern? Oh, yeah, yeah. C concern, right. I'm ready, Asil. Transporter engaged. So, um, 
That, uh, ca- that captain, huh? She boss you around like that all the time? You think I should rebuff her orders? Well, you do seem more capable and logic-minded than Kirk. You would do well to refrain judgment on Captain Kirk, Reese. True, as a Vulcan, we sacrifice emotion for logic, but that does not always mean we are more capable. Though I cannot lie, I graduated Starfleet Academy with the better scores. It seems rather illogical. So why stick with Kirk as a little gopher? Veronica has been my close friend for many years. I will follow her to the end of the universe. If it meant achieving the same level of greatness her father, Mr. Spock, and Dr. McCoy all did. This certainly was food for thought for Reefs, but little did anyone know that the party had yet to start. In the holding cell of the hostile ship... Would you kindly shut your cake hole, Tap G? Tower Girl? No, not Tower Girl. I'm. Guys, quiet. One of the aliens is guarding the cell. Hi, hey, what's going on in there? Can we start going soon? Pretty please? A cell, beat me over now. Captain Cook, stop snooping around in private affairs. Abduction is illegal, Wolfgang. We've got a situation here! Back aboard the Enterprise, Tap G, Surfer Clock, and Kirk phased in safely. You said it hurt Surfer Clock, but it felt more like a tickle. Reese! What are you doing way out here? Shopping for a new shower head! What's it look? Uh, I mean, boy, am I glad to see you guys are safe. <laughs> Your orders, Captain. Earth and fast. Let's drop off the boys first, then we'll get to the Federation to arrest Wolfgang and Gary. You know them? A few run-ins here and there. They're usually petty thieves, but abductions? A whole different ballgame. Do you know why, Tap G? Well, they said- Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Photon torpedo struck our bow, Captain. My navigation skills are not entirely sufficient to- Just do it, Asil. Reese, hit that yellow button over there to deploy shields. Got it. Shoot? Generator damaged? Really? I have the steering under control. Everybody, hang on! As the cat and mouse game was turned on its head, Captain Kirk and Asil struggled to maintain control as the Enterprise raced for Earth. Someone call the Federation on these guys! They're clearly unstable! We're sort of busy at the moment, Tap G! Incoming transmission signal. That will have to wait. Another photon torpedo struck the already damaged ship, shaking the passengers around wildly. Tap G and his clumsiness fell on a panel and struck a button. Incoming transmission granted. Within seconds, Tower Girl's smiling face overtook the bridge's windshield. Hi, big sister. Want Tower Girl, I'm afraid now is not a good time. Can I? Is that Tap G in Hi, guys. Can you see me? Holy cow, it is her twin sister! Someone shut off the transmission. I can't see where we're going. I'll call you back. Third time's the charm, the third photon torpedo took out one of the Enterprise's engines. The once proud ship teetered and wobbled before it plunged into a full-on tailspin. Even the transmission gave out. We're fast approaching a civilized planet, Captain. I'll steer us away from the cities. The rest of you sit down, buckle up, or you'll go through the windshields. Crash landing in five, four, three, two, one... To be continued in part 5, Revelations of Custody.